Hello people and welcome to Tom's Tips and today I've been asked to uh, try and take some of the mystery out of a room stack. Uh, in particular uh, the radio control room stack, the Sailus RT300 RF, I think it's the RF. And all that is, all that is, is a switch on the wall. On off. On it's either on or it's off. Right? But it's not worked by just turning a switch. It's worked by the, the the temperature in the room switches it off itself and when the temperature drops it opens it up. That's all it is. But it's um it's worked by by uh, wireless rave. You know, I mean it's like a it's like a mobile phone. We've all got mobile phones. We don't know what's going on inside, but we know that if we dial them, somebody'll answer the phone at the other end. What's happening in between is not important. And it's the same with a, with a room stack. What's happening from there to the? It's not. It's not important. What you need to know is that that's a switch, and that's all it is. And it's switched. It's activated by temperature. Now I'll take you a little bit further into details with a couple of drawings. So basically, this is your room stack that's on the wall. It's it's round out that shape, and it has a display there. I'm putting the the, the number seventeen in. It's had a button at the bottom here that, that will take the temperature down and a button at the top that will take the temperature up. It has a backlight here and that's about it. So if you set it for 17 degrees, which is about the average temperature for a hallway, and um, if that's good enough, if it's below 17, then that's sending Wi-Fi signals to the sender saying keep the boiler working because it's not hot enough and once it reaches 17 or higher it'll turn that off and say you can turn the boiler off now and that's sending it to a sender that's near the boiler there's a sender unit that, that understands what it's saying and then it's telling the boiler through we'll go on to an next drawing now so this is your receiver your receiver is getting the message from the sender and it does it works accordingly right so it's got a mains uh, live and neutral which it has to have to work it and this is your just your circuit the your switch if it's open it goes into the boiler and it's working the boiler those two terminals in your boiler would normally have have that link in to work it all the time so we're taking that link out and controlling it now by the receiver well, I hope that's took some of the mystery out of it. Um, as you can see, it's not its not all that clever. The, it works in a clever way. The Wi-Fi, I don't know how that works. I don't think anybody knows how that works unless you're a, a, an electronic wizard. But it's just a purely simple on and off. You're turning your boiler on and off. But you're doing it through the power of Wi-Fi and temperature. The temperature is the key. When it's warm enough and that's what it's all about. So anyway, I'll see you again.